Okay, in this question here, uh, we're asked to show, using cos A uh, plus B uh, is equal to uh, cos A cos B subtract sine A sine B, prove that the following is true. Now, how on earth could I use this to show this? Well, let's assume that these two sides should be the same. Uh, if I let A equal a half X and B equal a half X, or x over 2, what would I get? So if I let a equal x over 2, and I let b also equal x over 2, what would I get for part a? Well, what I get is I get cos of x over 2 plus x over 2, which we know is, is cos x, would be uh, what I get when I substitute the x over 2 in here. So cos x over 2, cos x over 2, uh, subtract sine x over 2, sine x over 2. Okay, and that would be equal to cos squared x over 2 subtract sine squared x over 2. And I know that cos squared, uh, cos squared of anything is 1 subtract sine squared of an angle. So I could replace this here by 1 subtract sine squared x over 2. I've still got my sine squared x over 2. So I would say that's 1 subtract 2 sine squared x over 2. And this here was a cos x like that. So I have done what I've asked for in the first part. So then it says, prove that for sine theta is not equal to 0, the following is true. So for part b, we're asked to show that 1 subtract cos x divided by sine x is the same thing as tan uh, x over 2 is following. Okay, so um, I'm going to start off, let's say, um, what, what, I, what side should I start off with, the left hand or the right hand side? Um, let's think about this. Let me start off with um, the left hand side. So the left hand side. And the reason I'm going to start off with this is just click for me. I've got cos x in the left hand side and I've got something for cos x in part a so I could use that information so I'm going to start off with the left hand side which is 1 subtract cos x divided by sine x and I'm going to replace the cos x with the answer to part a which is this thing so it's 1 subtract 1 subtract 2 sine squared x over 2 all divided by sine x okay so this is going to be equal to 1 subtract 1 is, is nothing and a negative, negative is going to be positive, so 2 sine squared x over 2 sine x. Now, we're actually nearly there. You should know a double angle formula that sine 2x is going to be equal to 2 sine single x cos single x. So therefore, sine single x would be 2 sine x over 2 cos x over 2. This angle is always half that angle. So I could replace that with 2 sine squared x over 2 and on the bottom would be 2 sine x over 2 cos x over 2. The sine uh, x over 2 could cancel with the one on the bottom and the so could the 2 and hey presto we're left with sine x over 2 divided by cos x over 2 which is tan x divided by 2 which is what we're trying to show which was equal to the right hand side and we're done. Okay, then, uh, last part, part C, we're asked to find the values and solve an equation. So let me just take a snapshot of this here. So going down here, we're asked to solve this. Now, this should look familiar to you here. This is something we've uh, got an identity for in part B, and the identity we had was the tan x over 2. So tan x over 2 is 2 sec squared x over 2 subtract 5. Now I can only solve this if everything's in terms of sec or tan and I should know the formula, one of the identities I need, namely that 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta. So what I could do is I could replace this here with 1 plus tan squared. So I'm going to have tan of x over 2 would be equal to 2 and uh, 
if theta was x x over 2, I would have 1 plus tan squared x over 2. Like that, take away 5. Expand this out, tan x over 2 would be equal to 2 plus 2 tan squared x over 2, take away 5. And making the left-hand side 0, I would have 0 is equal to 2 tan squared x over 2. Uh, 2 subtract 5 is, uh, is negative 3, and I would have subtract tan x over 2. Now at this stage, with any luck, I should be able um, to factorise this. So 0 is equal to 2 tan x over 2, uh, a single tan x over 2. And I'm going to have myself, um, let's see, a plus 1 and a negative 3 like that. So therefore, two sets of solu solutions, tan x over 2, 2 tan x over 2 subtract 3 is 0. So tan x over 2 is equal to 3 over 2 like that. Or tan x over 2 is equal to negative 1. So tan x over, uh, uh, or plus 1 is 0, sorry. So tan x over 2 is equal to negative 1. Okay, so that's where I'm going to get all my answers from. I'm looking in between 0 to 360. Because we've halved the angle, I'm going to now look between 0 and 180. So x over 2 is therefore the inverse tan of 3 over 2, and x over 2 here would be the inverse tan of negative 1. Calculator out, put it in degrees mode, inverse tan of 3 over 2 and I would get 53.6 so x over 2 is 50 sorry 6.3 6.3 degrees and x over 2 here would be inverse tan negative 1 close brackets and I get negative 45 so let's think about uh, our solutions we're, we're looking for solutions between 0 and 360 and the tan graph look, and I'm going to go between 0 and 180 because I've got x over 2 so that will be 90 there and it would come up here sorry it would come up here like this to 180 like that so I've got an answer at 56.3, that's going to be my only one. And I've also got an answer at negative 45, which is here. So you can look across here, it's 45 back from 0, so it'd be 45 back from 180. So the other answer here must be 180 take away 45, which would be 135 degrees. Okay, so then what are my x numbers? Well, my x, these are x over 2, so my x must be double that, which would be equal to... 112.6 degrees and my x here would be double that which would be 270 degrees and I'm done there.